All right. So back around, or I shouldn't say back around, back in the early 90s, 94 in particular, Neil um, decided to rejoin Peter, Prince, and myself uh, in Moonboot Lover. We were doing the thing, touring, playing lots of music. And every August, we would pretty much take the month off from touring. And Neil and I got into the habit of driving back to Buffalo, hang with our parents and friends and family. And we set up a studio in my parents' basement, which had been a, a recording studio in the past, but we were, we set up down there with the help of, from some friends to start recording with, with our brother, Dries Wadjet. And that was the elements, live hip hop thing we had going. So August, we go back to Buffalo, do some recording, put together an album in a few days and hang back on the road with Moon Boot. So we did this a couple of times in Buffalo. Now, while we're out playing with Moon Boot, one spot in particular we used to play a lot was in New Paltz. New York. And one band that we played with a lot in the area was Como Zoo. Now, we, we always had a great time playing together and hanging out. I don't remember the exact circumstances, but I get to talking with Joe Buckhalter, the one of the guitarists in Como Zoo. And I said, man, you know, we're going to be recording this new element stuff that I had in mind, or we had in mind. And he mentioned that he had a studio set up at his family's bagel spot, Mr. Bagel, down in Wappingers Falls, New York, which is south of, a little south of Poughkeepsie. Okay, so we had a studio to record in. Um, put the band together for this album, which was way different than what we had done before. So the band was myself, drums, Neil on keys, obviously, Drees, you know, MC. But then I was like, man, let me bring in Dave Fusinski, Fuse, and Dean Bowman from the Screaming Headless Torsos, our old friend Josh Levitt, um, who we grew up with in Buffalo, who was living in Brooklyn. Anyway, we put this band together. We had some, we got into the studio. And we're writing tunes. We're recording. We're having a great time. And we were there, I don't know, three or four days, something like that. Everything's going great. We're recording to ADAP, which I've been familiar with. Everything else that we had done as the elements had been done on ADAP. Uh, you know, uh, digital technology for people who don't, you know, know. But regardless, at some point, oh, so the studio was cool. So what, 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 what happened was the, it was a bagel shop and we'd move all the tables and chairs out and we'd set everything up and Joe and his brother BJ and their father Stu built a uh, control room and like a uh, a little ISO kind of ISO booth room, like for doing vocals or whatever, upstairs in the building. the The ISO room was crazy. It was awesome. The control room was it was legit. So we started talking to Joe. I'm like, man, like, what's the what's going on here? What's the deal? floating floors and all this stuff in the upstairs. And, and he's like, yeah, man, you know, 
we're, you know, we're kind of into this technology thing, recording technology thing. And he starts telling me, well, we're going to, he starts telling me about, <laughs> mind you, okay, this is, when this is going down, this is 90, had to have been 96, probably 96. He's telling me, yeah, man, we're going to be developing um, software, recording software, and telling me about recording software and hardware. Again, this is 96. This is so, he might as well have been talking, he might have been as well been from a different planet. I, I was a recording engineer. Or fancied myself a recording engineer at this time. This cat was talking so far above my head. But I'm 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 listening. I'm trying I'm trying to dig what he's saying. Anyway, recording software, hardware for you know, and to be used with like computers and stuff. This stuff I, I didn't even know what he was talking about. Anyway, record the album. We mix it there. It just, it, we had a great time, great experience. Later in 96, Neil and I split Moonboot Lover. And we kind of, I take some time off from playing music. Same with Neil. A lot of, th a lot of life happens between that time hanging out with Joe and Mr. Bagel. And the next time he hit me up, which was the early, somewhat early days of Soul Live, gets in touch with me. He's like, oh, it's Joe. We're kicking in. He's like, man, got this company. Um, we did, basically, he's something, we did it. We have, we got software and hardware. The company is Metric Halo. I was like, man, that's that's great, man. That's awesome. Now, at this time, I was recording with, I recorded the first, you know, couple of Soul Live albums on ADAP. Then we did some albums with Blue Note. And he said, man, I want to get you some of this, this stuff. So I get a box. And you know, it has like this hardware, the metric halo 2882s. And it was just beautiful. It was like it blew my mind that my friends said what they said they were gonna do, they did. And I didn't quite understand it all. I know how to record things and I know signal flow and I knew how to get it, but there was definitely times I was on the phone with them getting some tech support. <laughs> but it was just amazing that this little conversation that almost happened in passing while we were at Mr. Bagel, man, these dudes turned it into a real thing. So real that I ended up building a couple of studios with the gear that they designed, they they thought of, they designed, they built. I recorded so many great albums with that gear. I had so many great experiences with that gear. That gear went with me to Japan a few times, all around the country, recording Soul Live stuff, Soul Live albums that a lot of people hopefully have heard, and many other albums. <sighs> what I keep coming back to in this whole experience, thinking about it again, this little brief conversation in passing about, you know, these dudes, you know, Joe in particular, letting me know about his work, his dreams, things that he, they brought to fruition, 
had a massive, I'm saying massive effect, a massive influence on my life, uh, on so many people's lives who, you know, had, who've had the chance to enjoy the music I recorded with these devices, the bands who came to me, um, sitting in the studio, listening to their music being recorded and played back through these devices. My family, I'm being able to support my family because of their ideas, their concepts, their, their generosity. It's just incredible. So, first off, I just have to thank the Buckhalter family for everything that they they do they have done it's just incredible incredible work but more importantly you may not know when these little conversations these little experiences are happening that may have tremendous um effects on your life, but it's really important when you do realize the importance to be grateful, thank the pe those people, thank the situation. It just really blows my mind. Little seed. What a life. All right. That's my metric halo story. Peace.